Aloha everyone, <laughs> welcome. I'm really excited today because I'm going to show you stretch pose. Stretch pose is a position that you use breath of fire with and I taught breath of fire in the last video. So the link for that will be in the comments. If you haven't learned breath of fire yet, it's a really good one to learn. Only a couple contraindications for breath of fire. One is pregnancy and one is if you're on the first two or three days of your menstrual flow, you just want to take that easier or skip it and do long deep breathing. If you can't do breath of fire yet or it's contraindicated for you, you can do this pose with long deep breathing. But I highly recommend you do work breath of fire into it as soon as you can. It's very powerful because it it's all about the navel center, the, the solar plexus. The solar plexus is your center of self-esteem, willpower, self-worth, and your ability to commit is governed by the solar plexus. And stretch pose will challenge you. <laughs> and it's going to awaken the power within you to have commitment in your character. If it's not there yet, you gotta commit to doing stretch pose and you'll start to commit to doing things that are good for yourself, good for your soul, good for your worth and worthiness or feelings of because we are all worthy of everything. So, with no further ado, because it's a wonderful uh, position, you lie down. We're going to do this for one minute. I do it for a minute, daily almost. Um, almost. You can work up to three minutes, and that's even better for you. But I'm okay with just one. It's enough for me. It's enough for you. It's whatever you want to do. So I'm setting my timer here just for one minute. Now Shadow might get in the way a little bit because he really, really likes to get pet and I just got home. So he's he wants some attention, but that's okay. Don't don't mind Shadow. And don't mind your shadow. Okay, so you're gonna lie on your back. And the position is well, I like to stretch first, stretch long. And then you reach your hands, but buddy, you gotta move. You gotta move just a little bit, just a little bit. There you go, buddy. Okay. Your hands reach and they're facing forward, or but they're facing each other, <laughs> just over your thighs. So, buddy, buddy, move. Okay. So right about here, and you, so your shoulders are lifted, your feet lift six inches. You stare at your toes and do breath of fire. So we'll do this for one minute. So stretch long, stretch long, and lift the shoulders, lift the feet, and begin. you need to, put a foot down. Lift it back up. Put the other down. Keep those hands up. This is how you build two, the full minute. Ten seconds. Five. Good, hold the posture, inhale, hold, squeeze the root of your being, your pelvic floor, squeeze, 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 exhale and let go, release, relax, ah. Now feel your stomach, you're gonna feel your pulse. You wanna just make, uh, bring your thumb and first two fingers together, like a little beak, and place them right in your navel, your belly button. And you should feel that heartbeat 
right in the belly button. It's centered in the navel. That's what you're going for. You always want your pulse to be centered right in the belly button. And this posture for one minute will do that for you. Now I gave you an option to put one foot down and then bring it back up, put the other foot down, bring it back up. It's highly recommended not to put your hands underneath your hips because that basically negates the posture. If you must, you must, um, but work toward getting the hands up and out from under your hips. So yeah, do this for, do this every day for a week and tell me how it goes. You want to work up to doing it every day all the time, no matter what. And you can pair it with a couple other postures, which I'll be showing you another time. But I want to keep these really short. So without further, with no further ado, Shadow and I say Satnam to you.